It's a really good question. Um, because this is a transition stage in my life. I've just spent the last four years working on oil and gas rigs offshore as an engineer. Um, spent the last nine years at Youth Without Borders and have just exited. And I'm trying to figure out what the next thing is. And I think about what it is I care about um, and what brings everything together. And for me, the big picture is about equality and access to opportunity, is how can I use my my skills, my capacity to level the playing field and figuring out what the best way to do that is. And at this moment in time, my focus is really on women of colour, right? Um, I've just started a new company called Mubdaza, which is a speaking bureau, speakers bureau for women of colour, and then probably going to go into board and executive recruitment. But the idea is not only do I want to showcase across the world and across industries what amazing women of colour there are, but also build capacity you know, find, build a squad, find other amazing women of colour, because the reality is, is that we are forgotten, right? We are so often talked about, but not talked with, not talked to. And for me, it's about thinking, you know, the kid that I was had nobody who looked like them to look up to. I grew up and I saw nobody who looked like me on TV, ever, ever. Right? I, I had never read a book by someone who looked like me or whose life experience even vaguely resembled my own. I, how could I aspire to something? You can't be what you can't see. So I want to hopefully begin to empower young people to become those women and also give platforms to those women that are already there.